guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video after a really long time someone was right that it's quite difficult to manage both work and youtube at the same time but i'm trying and hopefully with time it is going to be better so thank you so much for sticking around and deciding to watch this video today we are going to uh, talk about some new makeup which i have in my collection uh, makeup and skincare it's sort of like a haul video come a try on video so I have a few things which I have purchased in the month of May and April, some older things as well, which I haven't really tried on my face yet. So we are going to create a look and uh, see how it goes. So if you guys are interested, please do continue watching. Okay guys, let's get started with the video. Uh, I hope this video is not too long, although I would love to just sit and talk and talk and talk because I have really, really missed YouTube. So anyway, so I have a few like, really really interesting exciting things which i'm going to show you today first let me show you some new skincare which i've got and i'm not going to try them so let me just show you so the first thing is not a skincare it's a hair care okay let's start off with this the briogeo blossom and bloom ginseng plus biotin conditioner you guys know i love briogeo that is the only like brand of hair care which has worked so well for my hair uh, although my hair is not in a very good condition today uh yeah but anyways ignore that uh i haven't really tried the conditioner yet i have tried the blossom and bloom shampoo which i love that's the volumizing shampoo it creates so much of volume uh, it's a little bit on the expensive side but i think it's totally worth it uh, uh these are like very safe for hair as well they are sulfate free shampoos and the scent of these shampoos are divine so i'm trying to uh, use the conditioner and see how it goes uh, usually i buy the hair mask uh, that's my favorite conditioner so this is a new thing which i want to try then i've got oh my god this had been my wish list for so long the pixie peel and polish uh, so i got a newer one i have already used this before this really really like clears up your skin this is more like a scrubbing uh like a scrubbing mask sort of a thing it has tiny tiny very very fine granules you have to uh, apply it on your face leave it for i think a couple of minutes only yeah leave up on uh, for two minutes not too much this will do a gentle exfoliation and your skin actually looks clean and clear so i really really loved it in the past it has a very nice uh, like a, s a vitamin c kind of a scent if i'm not wrong i haven't really opened it no it has more of a cucumber scent yeah so i will use this i'm so excited for this i have been wanting to get this for so long finally i got it okay uh then i have this one from kopari this is one of my favorite lip balms from kopari the lip glossy clear and uh, like this is very very good for daytime use uh it just keeps the lips hydrated this is how it looks like it has a uh, coconut in it coconut uh, lip balm and it works really really well for my lips they are not dry uh, throughout the day i don't feel any chappiness or anything like that so it works great for night time i use the laneige lip mask and that's what i stick to then i have got this from ula hendrickson why is it ula hendrickson i don't know i see everybody pronounce it ula hendrickson so i also say ula hendrickson it's uh this is a set of their vitamin c products so there is a truth serum which is very very popular uh, there is a brightening gel cream and banana bright eye cream which is also very popular so uh, this uh, i got from sephora by the way in singapore here and ula hendrickson is recently launched here so it has this one this is a brightening gel cream smells like orange it has like a jelly 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 kind of a texture so i will use it i haven't started using this yet i'm actually out of my day creams i have used up every day cream i have except one which i'm using uh, then i have a small little banana bright eye cream and i have the truth serum as well this is also very popular i have never tried these products before because they were not available here but now i can by the way i forgot to show you this time sephora had a promotion where they were giving away this reusable cotton pads with uh, purchase over some amount i'm so happy to get these these are reusable cotton pads uh, you can put them in the uh, washer you can wash them and reuse them there are six of them inside they like they look very very good quality and i am just super super happy to have 
these i have been wanting to get these reusable pads for so long but i didn't really know a brand uh, which i can get here so now i have one and i also got like a small little diary from sephora okay let's get on to the makeup okay so for makeup i have one new foundation and i have some concealers to try the foundation is the beauty blender bounce foundation i had recently purchased this in a shade which i think is going to be good shade match for me so i'm going to try it for the first time today okay i have already done a video on this foundation i have tried two shades in this foundation none of them have been a good match for me somebody had commented that you can get the shade four or uh, which is neutral olive which uh, may be a good match so that comment had been in my head for a really long time i think more than a year or so and then i finally decided to get this because i love this foundation it has such a good texture it's sort of like a soft matte kind of foundation but it's not very really drying it gives a beautiful finish to the skin so we'll try this one out i haven't really tried it on my face and we have a tarte pr i got something from tarte like this is my first high end international brand pr i don't know where they saw me uh, but they decided to send me their new concealer so this is the new concealer so they have the shape tip concealer which believe it or not i have not tried so far uh, but i do love tarte i love tarte products i have a lot of tarte products and i have used them for years now so it was very surprising when i got that mail that they're going to uh, send something to me so it was really sweet of them and thank you so much uh, for sending these across so they have sent me the ultra creamy tarte concealers and the shape tip concealers in two shades so i have four concealers to try out and they have also sent me this sponge so we're going to try out this as well uh, of course this is uh, like a no obligation sort of a pr but i'm happy to showcase any brand who sends me pr and uh, i would love to try out the product and give out my honest opinion you guys know that goes without saying so we'll try out the foundation first i should have got my beauty blender let me get my beauty blenders i'll open this one as well the tarte sponge it's firm but it's kind of squishy so let me wet this uh, sponges and be right back okay guys before i go to bed these sponges this is how the sponges look like both of them this is start this is beauty blender okay be right back okay i'm back so this is how both the sponges looks look like after they have swelled up increase in size okay so i find that the beauty blender sponge is still a little bit more like like bouncy airy kind of a feel to it this one is more like a foamy kind of a feel i don't know how to describe both but this one feels a little bit more airy to me so we'll see how it goes so i will take this beauty blender foundation you are, you guys already know i love the texture so this foundation if you have not seen my review before so it there there is a lock here which is supposed to open then you can pump out the foundation here okay oh my god that's too much but and you can take a beauty blender dip it okay there's a moment of truth <laughs> let's see how it matches and okay it's actually not bad actually this looks much better than the two i have i wouldn't say this is like still a perfect perfect actually it's not it's not that bad it may not be like perfect perfect i'll not apply too much here because i want to apply those concealers so i just apply on the face look at that foundation it just blends so nicely and this is after so many days that i'm wearing foundation i don't really wear foundation to work and nowadays it's the situation in singapore is bad again so we are in lockdown so i'm working from home so obviously i'm not <laughs> wearing any makeup but whenever i was going to office i was just wearing concealer just a light wash of eyeshadow and blush and that's about it because you are anyways under a mask so don't have to wear too much makeup oh my god this actually looks good so whoever i don't know who had commented whoever had suggested me this shade yeah i think i think this is a really really good match by the way i am nc40 what's my foundation shade nc44 nc44 okay uh, in mac i couldn't even remember my foundation shade oh my god 
what kind of a blower I am oh my god yeah it has been so long that I have applied foundation do you see some dark circles because I feel like I have some dark circles probably for the first time in my life even in college I never had dark circles but I've been spending so much time in front of the computer these days I mean earlier also I used to do but it was not the whole day right so now I have to do probably 8 to 10 hours a day I'm in front of the computer and that's that's not good but I haven't really applied too much foundation this can give you a lot of coverage I have applied a very light layer and that's usually how I like to apply my foundation so I'm not going to apply too much I just want to show you the shade match it's pretty good so if you're close to my skin tone you can try this shade but I think this uh, brand is discontinuing this foundation I heard something I am not too sure though so yeah let me know but this foundation is really good I do really like it okay now let's try on the concealer okay so I have two ultra creamy concealers uh, these are the new launches from Tarte and then I have the two shape tip concealers this is the original very OG concealer from Tarte so I have the shade tan and tan sand I didn't really tell them the my shade as well they just sent me these two so great job Tarte I, I am like really really thankful and happy there is a card so let me just read it because I haven't yet so the ultra creamy concealer is for dry or mature skin that's me dry skin mature i don't know moisturizing matte it has a matte feel to it but it is hydrating 24 hour moisturizing built-in eye cream so this is supposed to have a built-in eye cream concept to as well so that's interesting and the original shape tip i think many of you guys already know is for like mostly towards the oily skin type because it's pretty like dry and matte and it's very very heavy uh, but it has a beautiful coverage and finish okay so because it's supposed to be a little bit on the heavier side i didn't really try it before but i'm very interested to try this creamy one so let's do the creamy around the eye area and the matte one around the mouth area so the first one which i swatched was 4 to s tan sand okay so this one has a light kind of a pinky tone to it and then i'm trying 4 4 h yeah this one may be a little bit more better for my skin tone 44 h okay so this is a little bit more towards the warmer side 44 h so i will apply 44 h near my eye area it feels very like a lightweight foundation i will use the sponge which they have given it's a little bit like a, on the fatter side for the underneath the eye the beauty blender is a little bit more easier i feel like but still we are going to try so I have to just pinch on the blender a little bit. It has a very smooth blendability. It just blended very, very easily. So that's how 44H tan looks on me. I think the other one will be a little too light. Maybe I will use it uh, with another shade. I'll apply a little bit here also. And I think this is a really, really nice under eye match for me. Okay, I really like the finish. It's it's very smooth, very beautiful. It has blended nicely and it has a slight uh, that matte feel to it. I will have to set it. It has not completely set. It looks kind of ghostly right now, but I'm going to blend it out. Don't worry. Now let's apply some concealer around the mouth area. So for the that, I'm going to use the shape tape. So this is tan. So this is more of an olive uh, or a warmer undertone and tan sand i think i think in shape tip the tan sand looks a little bit more warmer than tan shade anyways i'll share the swatches on instagram as well uh, but let me apply this one tan sand for around the mouth i actually prefer something which is very close to my skin tone so this is not, not like exactly close to my skin tone but we'll make it work okay blended in pretty nicely and i have heard other vloggers say that this concealer is pretty heavy i haven't felt like it's that heavy so far maybe i'm not applying too much okay not bad yeah it's now drying down a little bit uh it's getting a little more matte 
but nothing is uncomfortable not even the previous one or this one it's pretty comfortable on the skin uh, even though it's matte so i'll wait for some time i'll just apply a little bit of powder and be right back okay so i have done my brows very lightly and applied some bronzer and powder do note that the creamy foundation it did crease a little bit here so don't forget to apply powder and set it then it will look much better so i did uh, like dab the concealer in again and then apply powder so now it looks much better there is no creasing anymore uh, so let's move on i have some new eye products first of all uh, i have this gel this is a gimme brow gel from benefit i love this i already used up mine and so i got a new one this is uh, the shade 5 which i use for my brow hairs this is the mini one which i believe is about the 20 something range and there's a bigger one as well uh, which is around 40 or 50 dollar something range i prefer the mini one it's nice and easy to store and uh, yeah it last lasted me last time lasted me last time for a really long time so i just apply a little bit of that brow gel so this is very handy sometimes if i don't feel like doing my brows then i just apply this gel it keeps the hair in place it makes it look natural i have pretty much set brows i don't really have to fill in in a lot of places so if i'm feeling lazy i just apply, uh, apply this brow gel and i'm done okay so i love this product it's very lightweight as well it doesn't give a brows that crunchy feel and it's very comfortable to wear the color is also very nice it has a slight bit of a tint so if you're close to my kind of a hair color then you can go for this number five it's very good next i did purchase my favorite favorite urban decay perversion liner i already finished up i think two three so far and uh, i was missing it so much and i was telling you in my last video that i am out of kajal pencils so i have the plum kajal currently which i'm using that's also gone till this size uh, so i finally bought a kajal pencil the urban decay perversion this is my favorite deep 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 black color pencil if you want a good kajal very creamy very smooth very easy to apply look no further the urban decay perversion liner my favorite hands down so i'm going to use that kajal later uh, but got a new palette this is the i don't know i have been thinking about this palette a lot for the past few months and finally i decided to get it the natasha denona bronze eyeshadow palette i had said that i don't really need it and that's the truth i don't really need it but the colors are just so beautiful and i feel like this is a really nice very everyday friendly palette this is how the packaging looks like and i love the colors which are in here like very neutral basic colors but you can do so much as in the, every look you will do with this color on our kind of skin tone it's going to look good so um I didn't really buy a neutral palette for a really long time so i thought let me get this and there are some very interesting duochrome shimmery kind of colors in this uh, so we're going to use this palette and create a very simple look i'm not going to talk too much through it i don't want this video to get too long uh, but you will get to see the look okay this one okay i have been applying eyeshadow as in i have been wearing eyeshadow at home just for fun and that has been a really nice therapy kind of a thing so i'm applying eyeshadow on camera after a really long time this is a color which you can just wear any time of the day if you don't want to wear eyeshadow you can just apply this one color and you're good to go yeah her shadows are pricey but the mattes are just so good quality the blend so 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 well now i'll apply a little bit of the dark brown this one there is a creamy shade here so this one is a creamy matte kind of a shade i love this texture which is there in the natasha dina palettes uh, they are super super creamy but they almost behave like powder eyeshadows and i love that people who are asking me how is my makeup course going it's going pretty good i am taking it slowly i'm almost there i think i have three more modules to finish and then i will be done so the last few modules are basically like special effects makeup i am not a very big fan of special effects makeup like blood dripping halloween kind of looks yeah i'm not into all that but yeah as a part of the course i do have to finish so i have purchased a lot of very interesting cool things like wax latex scar wax blood uh, 
hair, wig, very interesting cool things which I haven't really worked with before. But yeah, so I'm at the final stages of my course and I think I should be done in the next two months. But I think I will apply this taupe shade uh, first. This is called Palladium. This is that bronzy taupe shade. It's very pretty, very everyday friendly. And there's a beautiful purpley, lavendery kind of a color here. So I'm gonna apply this shade Palladium all over. Very effortless, very, very effortless. I mean, the colors are just laid out for you. You just have to pick the colors. Whichever colors you pick, you are going to create a nice look. So very easy, easy palette to work with. That's what I feel like when I see the color scheme. And I will apply this one silk in the inner corners or should i apply alloy like a nice bright golden pop let's apply alloy which is very bright muted gold kind of a color so this is like a shimmer high degree which is that bronzy deep burgundy bronzy shimmer this one i'll apply a little bit of that in my lower lash line it's pretty nice and there's not much fallout. I don't see any fallout from the mats. They're blended beautifully. Okay, so I'll complete this eye. I'll finish off my eye makeup. I'll use my Urban Decay liner. And we'll come back, do some blush highlight. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay, so that's how my eye look is. But I've actually also used this shadow, Beach. Uh, this one is a light, I would say beige, peach kind of a color, Beach. So I have used this light shade to just blend out everything so the outer edges is beach and also i've used this deep dive shade which is that matte creamy matte shade this one so this one i have used on the top lash line as like a liner so as a liner also that works great so this is a very very nice warm brown palette i'm loving the vibe of this palette totally let's move on to the face i'll apply some blush so i had this new palette from BH Cosmetics which I haven't really used so far. I bought this during the holidays. I don't know if you can get it still but this is how it looks like. It's like a peachy warm peachy blush palette and I fell in love with the colors. So I'm gonna use I think with this one I can use let's use just peachy this one. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of just peachy. I've used this blush palette uh, not this blush but I've used the other blush before and the powders are just super smooth really really like it i have to do like a little bit of a declutter a blush declutter and a lipstick declutter i will film those videos my light is about to fall i feel please don't fall let me finish filming okay next we'll go into highlighter for highlighter i want to keep it very simple but <laughs> i didn't choose a very simple highlighter i got the melt cosmetics highlighter from behind uh, i have my blushes and highlighters in there behind and yeah this is a new setup so probably you're going to see this setup because i have totally like dismantled the uh, studio so my studio is not a studio anymore it's like a third study room kind of a place now so i have other furnitures and that so i think this is going to be my new background so i'm going to use this melt cosmetics highlighter this is also like a peachy highlighter so hopefully it will go well with this. I haven't applied highlighter in so long. It feels so nice to just sit and just do the makeup. Today is holiday. Not that we could go anywhere because it's a lockdown situation. Not a lockdown, lockdown, a lot of restrictions. So we usually don't go out anywhere these days. Only my husband goes out to get groceries. My children are uh, studying at home, like they have study home-based learning. So I hope the situation gets better soon. I'm okay, <laughs> we are down to lipstick. Let's apply some lip. I think I have a new lipstick, but that doesn't really go that well uh, with my skin tone. So I will use, I don't know, I want to do color. I haven't worn like a deep, deep, deep colorful lipstick in a very long time. Every day I wear glosses and nude lipsticks and that's it i am actually wearing lipsticks every day uh, but mostly the nudes uh, so today i want to wear mac diva the rich rich 
plummy uh, burgundy lipstick I haven't worn these since so long so today is the day so this is how I look with a full face of makeup I had forgotten this face Okay guys, so that's my finished makeup look for today. I'm so happy to have some makeup, like full face of makeup on me after so many days. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. And if you did and watched till the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope I am able to bring more content to you guys. But thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also if you're watching me for the first time, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really, really soon in my next video. Bye.